Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Justin Bieber situation. So if you guys do not know, Justin Bieber was accused on Saturday, June 20th, of sexually assaulting not one, but two women, okay? So this is what happened. Some mysterious account by a woman named Danielle popped up out of nowhere. And basically, she accused Justin Bieber of raping her back in 2014. And according to her, the alleged incident took place took place at his manager Scooter Braun's event at the Banger Sausage House. Um, and this was back on March 9th, 2014. And this was after Justin Bieber had showed up to sing a few songs where she'd gone with two of her friends. So I'm just going to read a little bit of what she wrote. So basically she says, hi, my name is Danielle. And for personal reasons, I will not be stating my last name. I'm posting this anonymously because I'm not ready to come forward and reveal myself. If he comes across this, you know who I am. I know you remember me. I hope your life is hell after this and you drown in your guilt. On March 9, 2014, I was sexually assaulted by Justin Bieber. Justin was with his former ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez, for a concert in Houston, Texas. Me and my two friends heard Scooter Braun was having an event at the Banger Sausage House in Beer Garden that Sunday night in Austin, Texas. Performers like Cody Simpson, Tori Kelly, The Wanted and More were also attending the event. Then later on that night, Justin Bieber surprised the audience with about 100 people at the bar and performed a few songs. He publicly dedicated a few to Selena. My friends and I were enjoying ourselves the entire night. A man then approached me and my friends and asked us if we would like to wait after the show to meet Justin. Of course we said yes. My friends and I thought it was strange at first and sketchy, but as promised, we all waited after the show because we were fans and Justin came up to us. We took some pictures and chatted for about 20 minutes. For legal reasons, I will not be sharing the photos Justin and some other man who appeared to be his friend invited us over to the Four Seasons Hotel once again we said yes we didn't think anything of it other than hanging out with a huge celebrity fast forward to arriving at the hotel Justin's friend brought two of my friends to a room and he took me to another room Justin had made me agree not to say anything to anyone or I can get in serious or I can get in serious legal trouble. He asked for my phone and put it to charge. I guess it was an excuse to take it away from me. He then asked me to join him in bed. That's when I asked myself, how in the world is this normal? I'm in a hotel room with the Justin Bieber. I began to think that it was suspicious. I asked him where Selena was to make conversation. He told me not to worry about it and that she'll come up to the room later. I kept asking questions to add to our conversation, but he then leaned in to kiss me. I was shocked. I was taken away by what he just did. I figured it was a sign to make me shut up, so I kissed him back. I thought to myself that I had a few drinks and hopefully he can tell by the way my breath smells like alcohol and nothing will happen next. But I thought that this is what typical pop stars are like, wanting other female attention because their current significant other isn't enough. Typical Hollywood stuff. Now keep in mind this was in 2014. Around that time he was out of control. Our small kisses then turned into a, into a steamy makeout session. He then pushed me down on the bed after about 10 minutes of sitting up, got on top of me, started kissing me down my neck, and made his way down to my stomach. He found my jeans, unbuttoned them, removed them, and started touching my underwear with his fingers. My thoughts then started to roam around in my head, and I started to second guess myself. I kept asking myself, Myself. What about Selena? Did I consent to this? How would she react if she finds out? Where are my friends? How was this normal and okay? I told him that this was going too far and that we should stop because I needed to find my friends. Most importantly, because I felt guilty about Selena. That's when he told me, relax, they're all okay. Then he pulled my underwear down, unbuckled my pants, pulled his underwear down, grabbed the bed covers, and threw it over us. His body was on top of mine, skin to skin. I was very uncomfortable and felt myself starting to hyperventilate. I told him to get off because I was starting to worry about my friends, but it was too late. 
He forced himself inside me before I got the last few words out. He was thrusting in and out of me as I laid there speechless. My body felt unconscious. I don't want to go into details about what happened next. Although this was six years ago, although I'm one year older than him, he was 20, I was 21. I was still sexually assaulted without consent. Fast forward to late last year, I finally decided to speak up about it. I told my close friends and immediate family. It was hard, but I finally got to tell my story. If you've ever been a victim of sexual assault, I believe you. You and your story matter. You are valid. You are heard. I will stand with you. What happened to me was not okay. It took me years to finally speak up about it, but it's never too late to do so. Just because he's a huge pop star with a lot of money and millions of fans doesn't make this okay. Should I go unnoticed? I'm still recovering, attending multiple therapy sessions, seeking help, and talking to people. Thank you for listening to my story, Danielle. Okay, now I know I said I wasn't going to read the whole thing, but bitch, that story was juicy, okay? So I just kept reading, okay? Hope y'all like it. I got my mother goose glasses on right now. So anyhow, um, so that went viral. I mean, that was a major story. And, but then what solidified the story, what put the cherry on top was a woman named Caddy. And Caddy's um, account is public. It's not an anonymous account. And basically she tweeted, she says, I believe Danielle, I'm a victim of sexual assault by Justin Bieber too. And then she went on to basically state, hi, my name is Caddy. And just like Danielle, I was sexually assaulted by Justin Bieber. It was five years ago when I was assaulted by Justin. And on May 4th, 2015, in the evening, I went to meet and possibly get a picture with Justin, just like any other believer when he was in New York. From waiting in the evening till early morning of May 5th, 2015 in New York City, I met Mikey, Justin's bodyguard, outside of the hotel and he found me attractive and gave me his phone number without taking mine i stayed there waiting hoping that justin would come out so all of us believers that had been waiting outside his hotel to get a picture but he didn't later around 2 30 a.m i was invited by mikey arana to bieber's hotel the langham hotel where there were five girls including myself out of the five girls there was one who sat closer to justin whose name was ariana and three other boys one of them was kyle massey and the other was his hairstylist named florida i believe i introduced myself and started socializing with everybody then I started jokingly talking in French to Bieber. As some of you already know, he can speak some French because he's from Canada. We were having conversations and he said he couldn't hear me clearly because I was standing a little far from him. I started getting closer and he grabbed my hand and dragged me slash pulled me over to him. He was sitting on the couch, so I fell on his chest. I started getting up and when we locked eyes, he kissed me and touched my butt while asking if it was real. I said yes and stopped his hand there and got up. I went to the restroom. He came behind, followed me to the restroom and locked the door, which was on the left of the bedroom. I asked what's going on. Why did he lock the door? He said, I'll tell you. He started kissing me, touching my body and caressing me. I asked him to stop and continue to say that I cannot have sex with anyone prior to marriage, traditional and cultural thing. So Bieber started pushing me to the bed and had his body against mine. He pinned me down, pulled my leggings down his shorts and penetrated me, which is considered a very bad thing unless by my husband. It aggravated me and I pushed him and kicked him between the legs and ran out the living room. I told my sister what happened, but she asked me to stay quiet about it because it will ruin my family's honor and I never will be married. The fear of being called a disgrace by my family and being disowned made me rethink. I went to rehab for mental treatment in fear of killing myself because I've tried. I remained silent until last year in 2017 when I saw the Me Too movement. But after I tweeted about it, the believers sent hate towards me, so I deleted it. And then a writer, Amanda, saw it, and she emailed emailed me and after I told her everything she asked if I knew other girls who had been assaulted by Justin Bieber so that my case will be believable I said I don't and I haven't heard back from her since that's when I decided to go to law enforcement and never let my assailant go easily knowing how bad it can mess one's mental health attached are the messages from Mikey and Ariana and Amanda so that is what the second girl um Caddy had posted but then what people found funny 
You know, the same girl who claimed that she was sexually assaulted by Justin back on February 24th of 2020. So this was just a few months ago. She says, it doesn't matter how good of a believer I am. I'll never get noticed by Justin at yes, 94. Do you agree? But my thing is, if he assaulted you and, and raped and penetrated you uh, at one point in time, you did get noticed by him. So I'm, I'm confused. Her story makes no sense when you see the stuff that she's been tweeting. On top of that, she also tweeted this. I just hope that you're having a better day than I am at Justin Bieber. Then she goes on to send him a series of tweets, and this was all in 2020. She says, I love you lots at Justin Bieber. Hashtag Justin for MMVA. Then she says, um, you'll be a great father, I can tell, at Justin Bieber. Then she also tweets, how many IHOP more do you need at Justin Bieber? Jeez. Then she also tweets, I know you're going to be the perfect daddy to my babies at Justin Bieber. So that didn't sit well with me at all. Because if this man really assaulted you, why are you tweeting him and still a fan of his? That just does not make sense. So, of course, um, with all the drama going on with that, um, it got really big where Justin Bieber could not ignore it. So today he took to social media and he basically deaded all the rumors. He bought receipts and everything. So Justin Bieber starts by saying, I don't normally address things as I've dealt with random accusations my entire career. But after talking to my wife and team, I decided to speak up on the issue tonight. He goes on to say, rumors are rumors, but sexual abuse is something I don't take lightly. I want to speak out right away, but out of respect for so many victims who deal with these issues daily, I want to make sure I gathered facts before I made any statements. In the past 24 hours, a new Twitter appeared and told a story of myself involved with sexual abuse on March 9, 2014 in Austin, Texas at the Four Seasons Hotel. I want to be clear, there's no truth to this story. I will soon show I was never present at that location. As her story told, I did surprise a crowd in Austin at Southwest by Southwest, where I appeared on stage with my then assistant and side stage and sang a few songs. What this person did not know is that I attended the show with my then girlfriend, Selena Gomez. This article from 2014 talks about Selena being there with me. Then he goes on to say, What's up? Hey, T-Sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.